we are not born to remain small to remain begging to the world for some recognition or some sense of validation we are born for greatness and this great task of walking the spiritual path is aided by hanuman ji that however difficult a challenge would be with your aid everything is possible some beings are born great some beings have greatness thrust on them but some special beings are such that they achieve greatness through their actions hanuman ji is one such being we have heard how hanuman ji even as a child leapt towards the sun thinking of it as a fruit this incredible episode is captured in the very first video that we had done in this series and if you want to see the deeper meaning of hanuman ji's great leap then click on the description below yuga sahastra yo jana parbhanu lilyo tahi madur phal jalo hanuman ji is one who leapt across the skies to devour the sun thinking of it as a fruit one criticism that hindus everywhere receive is what is your religion you all are worshiping monkey gods who are leaping towards the sun thinking of it as a fruit how unscientific is this now already we have established that vanara does not mean monkey this is a colonial mindset that takes vanara and only translates it as monkey nara means man va means precursor to so vanara means a precursor to the current human being that we see today even though the human being is a greater point in evolution from the vanara this vanara hanuman is able to manifest any and everything that all human beings today are not just looking for but they are pining for in this way this young vanara leapt towards the sun which represents the highest knowledge thinking of it as a simple fruit to be gained how intimidated are we by study and knowledge hanuman ji thought that this is natural to consume it's natural to seek knowledge and if you think this is unscientific then listen on because in the words of the hanuman chalisa are great scientific principles hidden yojana refers to eight eight why because it takes eight minutes for the sun's light to reach the earth that is the speed of light and the time that it takes denotes the distance between the sun and the earth yuga represents 12000 yuga sahasra yojan is 12000 times 1000 times 8 which is 96 million miles this is the exact distance between the earth and the sun which is what hanuman ji leapt when we say yuga sahasra yojan he knew what the distance between the earth and the sun was such was his intelligence that he was able to calculate it and such is the knowledge represented in hindu shastras that we are able to identify scientific discoveries that were only made a few mere hundred years ago such is the depth within our hindu culture that says aim for the highest aim for the sun don't stop seeking and act to achieve In fact we all call ourselves Bharatiyas but do you know what the word Bharat means Bhaya Ratam iti Bharatam Bhaya means the light of the sun that is denoted in names of the sun like Bhaskara Bhaya Ratam a place where there is an aspiration for light is the land known as Bharat So to be a Bharatiya it is a responsibility that we spend our lives in search of the higher truth the key when we read texts like the hanuman chalisa is not to firstly reject it because we don't understand it secondly it is to understand at a deeper level and thirdly to share this with others so that we are able to serve our fellow bharatiyas how do we get strength to do this goswami tulsidas ji writes prabhu mudrika meli mukhamahi jaladi langi gaye acharaj nahi durgam kaj jagat ke jete sugam anugraha tumare dete taking the signet ring of the lord in his mouth he leapt across the ocean even the toughest of situations become favorable in his company you may ask why did hanuman ji put the ring of bhagwan shri ramchandra in his mouth well where would he put it 
he can't put Ramji's ring on his finger. And every part of our body has some ornament or the other. Our ears have an ornament. Our fingers have an ornament. Our necks have necklaces. Our arms have baju band. Our waist has kamar patta. Our toes even have ornaments. But what is the ornament on our tongue? Prabhu Mudrika is the ornament on our tongue. To take the name of Bhagwan that was on his ring and constantly chant it, Ram, 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 Ram. What is denoted with this line? Prabhu Mudrika Meli Mukhamahi. Now, within the Vedas, we know that the great philosophical texts are known as the Upanishads. But how many Upanishads are there? And who decides this list of Upanishads? Well, there's an Upanishad called Muktika Upanishad, which is a discussion between Hanumanji and Bhagawan Sri Ram, in which Hanumanji asks Bhagawan, how many Upanishads are there? And Bhagawan says there are 108 Upanishads. In this list of 108 Upanishads given by Bhagawan Sri Ram, one such Upanishad is called Kali Santarana Upanishad which translates as in the Kali Yuga, the path to complete transcendence. And what is the message of this Upanishad? In the Kali Yuga, in this age of quarrel that we find ourselves, the one way to transcend our material identity is by chanting the name of the Lord. And this is where the great Maha Mantra is given. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. And later, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared on this earth, he took this mantra and because of opposition by people locally, he swapped it around and it became Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. What is this mantra? But the names of the Lord on our tongue, Prabhu Mudrika Meli Mukamahi, by taking the name of the Lord on our tongue, we can jump across any ocean. Now that you know this, don't waste your time arguing whether Hare Ram came first or Hare Krishna came first. Just take the mantra, chant and cross the ocean. We are not born to remain small, to remain begging to the world for some recognition or some sense of validation. We are born for greatness. And this great task of walking the spiritual path is aided by Hanumanji, which is what's denoted by Durgama Kaja Jagat Ke Jete, Sugama Anugraha Tumare Tete, that however difficult a challenge would be, with your aid, everything is possible. Any great job can be executed with surrender, with action, with egolessness and with devotion or bhakti. And all four of these qualities are manifested in connection with Hanumanji. That is why we pray to Hanumanji. That is why we fall at the feet of Hanumanji. That is why we chant the Hanuman Chalisa. And it is this grace and blessing of Hanumanji that has brought us to this point, which is the halfway point in the Hanuman Chalisa. I can't express how blessed I have been to be able to share this knowledge of the Hanuman Chalisa with you. And if you have benefited from it, then do share it with someone else who can also then pass it on to someone else. And in this way, we can create waves of positivity based on the Hanuman Chalisa. Every week we bring a video either on the Bhagavad Gita or on the Hanuman Chalisa. And if you want to be notified of this, then do subscribe. It's a small step for you but makes a big difference to us in our service. And if you subscribe, then you will be notified of any future video that we bring. And with that promise, I take my leave. My name is Om Dhamadkar. Thank you once again for joining us on yet another video on the secrets of success from the Hanuman Chalisa. Namaste. Durgam kaj jagat ke jete, sugam anugraha tumare tete.